the day has finally come. It's time to do my room tour. I'm so happy that I'm finally doing my room tour. So let's go ahead and get started with the entertainment area. Okay, the picture frame as well as the pictures in it came from Ikea. They came in a set of four and the frame only holds three and those were the most appropriate for the room. So that's where I got that. The candlestick and candle is either from home goods or hobby lobby i cannot remember <laughs> this television is um from amazon it is an lg television the carolina um, light was a gift let's see if we can zoom in a little bit there there we go this picture frame came from michael's and the picture inside of it is from a note card that i cut and placed in the frame. That is my Instax camera, I believe is how you say it. It is sitting on a cake plate. I purchased the cake plate as well as the candle from Home Goods, and the mask came from Pure One. The tea set came from Home Goods, and then the cabinet itself, I believe it's called a Kalax cabinet, and I purchased that from IKEA. And those are my pooches, they need a bath. And that bed came from PetSmart. <laughs> the Marilyn Monroe bag came from Myrtle Beach from the Wax Museum. The this is a um, jewelry or necklace holder, and I believe I purchased it from Home Goods. And there are several of my costume jewelry necklaces. I used two Sephora bags as decor so uh, those are just regular Sephora bags I placed these Sephora bags on the wall using command strips the and symbol came from home goods as well as the fan and it is so hot in here because I have lights and <laughs> I'm hot right now I want to turn on my fan that is a small um, Bluetooth radio I like to have my music as well as television and I purchased that from Amazon I'll leave a link and it pairs with my phone where I play music. I believe that mirror as well as the flower came from Hobby Lobby. This drawer is not a it's not an Alex drawer. This is the one that you can purchase from Michaels and I'm not sure of the name, but it is much cheaper and I really wanted a small one for this room for now and so that's the one I have and I will put a link in the description box. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all of the items in here, but I'm just going to open this up so that you can see um, what it will hold. I have a few trays here. I think I got some of these from Lowe's Hardware. And um, this is just supplies. There's some hand sanitizer here, some cases um, that the eyeshadows came in, um, thread for making my wig units. Um... And here are some unopened uh, makeup items that I'm going to be trying soon. And um, just some miscellaneous items. This is kind of room to grow. My lashes are in this drawer. There are my Lily lashes. Just several lashes. And that's where I keep all of my palettes. The lamp came from Home Goods. I just purchased this candle yesterday and I purchased this candle from Pottery Barn. It is a lovely smell. It is so light, wonderful. The um, S's I believe came from Michaels and this, I think it's a cake plate, but I'm not sure it serves some type of food. It is a turtle and I purchased it from Home Goods. The love mug came from Hobby Lobby 
the lotion came from home goods that is my blue microphone that I purchased from Amazon this I think I got from Hobby Lobby and that as well I don't know you guys saw it in my um, one of my initial videos about my room so you can figure it out from there um, that sign that's in the background came with my beats I'm thinking I might put it in a frame so I just got it hiding back there um, the beats this is a, a solo number two I believe it came with the computer and the computer is an Apple for doing all of my um, editing this is the track mouse, I think that's what you call it, that comes with it that I upgraded from a regular mouse. It makes it easier to edit my videos. That is a paperweight. I can't remember whether it is from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. The white tissue box was purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond and then I, I did a DIY and made that into a um, piece of decor and I used a flower bomb box. I do have a video on that. These are some sweet treats that I have there. There are M&Ms there and I purchased them for Valentine's Day and um, it is now July or August but I'm still eating those M&Ms and they still taste fine. And on the top, <laughs> the top ones have cheesecake in them so they look a little bit different. These flowers were purchased at Home Goods. This owl was also purchased from Home Goods. I purchased these gold paper clips from uh, Michaels or Hobby Lobby and this guy I got this little guy from Cracker Barrel it holds cell phones I just thought he was cute those are my beats and when I am in here editing and I don't want to disturb the entire house I will use those this is one of the bottles that I purchased from Hobby Lobby just wanted to turn it on so that you guys could see that it does light up I added those lights and I believe I purchased those from Michaels. I also purchased this candle as well as the candle holder from Hobby Lobby and calendar I believe I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. It is a Barbie calendar and it fits the room so well so I hope that I'll be able to find another one when this year is over. These prints, this one as well as this one I purchased from Etsy and please excuse the light that is shining in the background but I am trying to make it bright enough in here so that you can see the room this picture was purchased from Ikea as well as the frame I got this idea from another person there is a light on the back of my desk and I can change the colors it has a remote control here and hopefully the television won't come on. I have found that it has the same frequency as the TV. And so the TV might come on as I'm trying out the different colors. So when you all see that beautiful glow in the background, it comes from a light, um, a string of lights that I have on the back. This desk came from Ikea. I don't think I said that. The desk came from Ikea. There are just like items stored in here and my other camera lens, office type things are in my desk drawer. I purchased the trash can from Ikea and I just have a regular little grocery store bag inside of it. That is the charger that goes with um, my extra batteries for my camera. The chair came from a website on Amazon. I love this chair. It is so comfy and beautiful. The pillow came from Home Goods. The blanket came from Lowe's Hardware Store. Please excuse all of the electrical wiring that you can see in the background. So sorry. Moving on. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this area and we're gonna work our way from the bottom to the top. The two S's came from Hobby Lobby and they were just really inexpensive and you know what they stand for. The Ottoman came from Home Goods. It is expensive, but it was so beautiful and I wanted some gold accents in the room. And when I have guests in the room, 
um, they will oftentimes sit on the ottoman. That is an egg over there at the bottom. It is a piece of decor that I got from Home Goods, as well as that box. The box holds things that I do not want visible in the room, like cords and just little things that went with some of my electronics. The Bulldog is a symbol of the various mascots that I've had at all of the schools where I have worked. I have worked at several schools that had Bulldogs as the mascots. And so I just kept him around as a reminder of that. The lipstick tower is one that you see many people have. This is one by Zara Beauty. And this is the smaller tower because my lipstick collection is still growing. Although at some point I may want to upgrade. And I have some YSL lipsticks there. Some Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. And I believe those are from... Urban Decay at the bottom. There are MAC lipsticks over there, NYX lipsticks, and so forth. The nail polish, that's my nail polish collection, and I don't use it very often, but it is just stored there because I let other people do my nails. <laughs> and the flower came from Hobby Lobby. The candle came from Bath and Body Works. I don't burn it there, it's just sitting there as decor. The little shoe, I believe it's to hold earrings, and I purchased that from at home, as well as this little ring tower that does not hold rings for me, but I just thought it was cute. The um, candle I have had for a long time, and I'm not sure, did I mention the palettes? I have a peanut butter palette, naked palette, Anastasia Beverly Hills artist palette, as well as my semi-sweet Too Faced palette. Here is a Beanie Baby. You guys remember them. He's just one that I liked a lot. I purchased the carriage from Hobby Lobby and those are some travel perfumes that are inside. The poodles, um, those are just little um, trinkets that I have had for years. That is my sorority mascot. The pin cushion is from Etsy. There's a seller on Etsy where I purchased that one. I will link it below. The lipsticks, I have several lipsticks from Tarte, Colourpop, and Miscellaneous. I think the acrylic case came from Home Goods, And I plan to purchase another one that is just for um, liquid lipsticks because these will kind of tumble over if I bump them. But for right now, this will do. The Easter basket came from Home Goods. It went with the theme because it is gold. And inside of it, I just have a couple of lip products. And this is a Harry Potter sword keychain. I just put it there for some reason. Um, these frames, I have a DIY video on the how I did this. These are just magazine cutouts that I put inside some old frames. This is a sorority mug that I have there, and I've had it for a while. These mannequins came from Amazon. The necklaces on the mannequins are from Marina Collections. I'll link them below. The candle here is a diptyque candle, I believe is how you say it. And it is an expensive candle. I have not burned it yet. We may burn it together. But right now, it is decor. And um, these little tea lights, I've had for a while. I'm not sure where I got them from. And that love painting or picture came from Home Goods. This is my perfume collection, or at least some of them. Many of the other ones are in my bedroom. But I have some Versace, a flower bomb, Rihanna, Prada Candy. Dolce Cabana, Lancum, Oscar de la Renta. I just love these scents. Um, the little teddy bear was decorating my daughter's room when she was a little girl, so I just kept her around because it was very cute and seemed fitting for the room since she's looking in a mirror. <laughs> the um, little egg that may be a little bit dusty back there, I think it's a pineapple. It's a crystal vase of some sort. I think it was a gift. The candles I've had for a while, um, that container was my maracuja oil container and I just thought it was nice and didn't want to throw it away. It is from Tarte. I have a little trinket from my daughter for a mother from a Mother's Day from many years ago. The musical note came from Hobby Lobby and the cupcake did as well. The 
poodle I have had for a while. The flowers came from Home Goods. The dream symbol came from Home Goods. The um, what is that thing called? Music box globe. It's a globe, but it's it plays music. It's Barbie themed, and it was my daughter's, and I just kept her because it was cute. And that box was where my um, my love mug came in that box, and I just kept it. And there you have it. That's the bookshelf. The curtains came from JCPenney, and they are a sheer curtain. And there are some other curtains that I have been looking at, but I'm not sure if they're going to be too big for the space. Because the space is so tiny, I just went with a sheer curtain. And the curtain rod, I believe, I also purchased from JCPenney. Hopefully you can see it, but that is the chandelier that I purchased from Ikea. I purchased the cover there. I don't know what that's called, but I purchased that from Lowe's Hardware Store. The chandelier was inexpensive. It's really small for this room, but it's perfect because the room is really small. Okay, I do want to show you guys um, my rug. And my dogs, unfortunately, have trampled on one side. You can tell that the color is wearing, but this is a faux sheepskin rug that I purchased from Home Goods. This is on the wall. It's just kind of a mm, hiccup. It, I purchased it, and it's not exactly what I want it to look like, but it's there. It's taking up space right now. This chair is a chair that I've owned for many years. It used to look like something different. I reupholstered this chair. It is my makeup chair that I move out, so it has not been in the room. I just went back out in the other room and got it. It is um, the chair that I use on a daily basis to apply my makeup and then I roll my other chair over whenever I'm filming but the seat cushion I reupholstered using like a vinyl material and then I painted the arms white the pillow came from home goods and this is a really nice chair and it just fit the space perfectly okay the bookshelves came from a store called at home and um I purchased them they had a little bit of damage and I got them for less than ten dollars and the pictures inside the frames I purchased from a seller on Etsy that is a Chanel number no. five perfume those little trinkets right here and right here and right here came from Target they were on clearance the butterflies came from Michaels and they are actually um, little clips I'm not sure what their intended purpose was, but I used them to decorate my room and I put command strips behind them. And um, this is a candle holder. From time to time, you may see me light a candle. Um, these are my pictures from my the Instax, from my little Instax camera, I think is what you call it. And um, there's my daughter, just my pets, okay? And that little table also came from at home. It's pretty dusty, but when I'm filming, I use this mirror. And I, you guys will not believe my little setup, but I will tell you, I actually take an ironing board <laughs> because the ironing board can rise and, um, and it can lower and it's portable and it doesn't stay in my way. So I take my ironing board and I set up all of my makeup and I put my mirror on top of my ironing board and I set the ironing board to a low setting. And that is what I am sitting at when I am filming my tutorial. I'm not gonna do a makeup collection video, but these are some of my lipsticks, my the ones I grab on a daily basis, my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses, my Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, my makeup brushes, um, my foundations, some miscellaneous things are in here, and um, my primer water, as well as my setting spray, all of that's over here. That is my mirror, my vanity mirror, and I actually purchased this from a company in the UK. It is not the one that everyone else uses, and it was so much cheaper. <laughs> I'm going to um, do some research and I will put that information in the description box so that you guys can find out. They actually have all types of mirrors. And this is the one that I purchased. It was in my budget and I like it. 
Um, you may have noticed as I've been touring you around that there are several of these all over the room. My daughter did an Ancestry.com um, DNA test and found out that we're 9% Irish. I have to do it myself, but she has already done it. So I decided to decorate my room with several of these just to kind of, just as something whimsical and cute. This is my Stella Fold Shadow, as well as the primer and the pan that comes with it. And I did use that in a tutorial if you guys would like to see it. These candles came from Michaels. This is my Lamora eye brush set. It was really inexpensive. I purchased it from Amazon. This is some lotion. I tend to like to put some lotion on my hands before I start filming. And sometimes I forget, so sometimes they may look a little dry. From back here, this is a cup that I have used to hold several of my brushes. I have my tarp, my tarp brushes and just brushes that you see me use. And then back there behind there is another holder that I have used to hold brushes. This is a beautiful lamp that I purchased from Home Goods. This clock was a gift years ago. I have no idea where it came from. This came from Hobby Lobby. It holds perfume, although I just use it to decorate the room. The plate came from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. These came from Michaels. These are coasters. I have several of them. This is a Too Faced blush. It's just there, as well as this Lancome um, absolute powder i grabbed this a lot i just thought it was cute right there and i just left it there i don't know why i don't know why it's there guys it's just there okay the skull i just thought i just liked him don't ask me why i don't know what his initial purpose is but i have him holding cotton balls this little thing hiding back here is my trusty coconut oil. It's usually in my bathroom, but somehow I moved it in here and I decided to leave it in here so that I could do one more plug for coconut oil. It is a universal moisturizer. I love it. And I will link below the coconut oil that I like. This space was empty for a while and then I got the butterflies and then I found this nice little wall hanging at home goods and i believe i got the hooks from hobby lobby but i can't remember <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't remember it that's why I, I really hate that it took me so long to get this video up because i knew i would forget where i got some of these items and again that's some of my little costume jewelry and it just fills that space when i'm recording on that side up top is a picture that I got from home goods you guys may remember it from my first video about my beauty room believe in the beauty of your dreams is what it says and I purchased this wall hanging and it is on the door because I did use this as a backdrop one time and I wanted something on the door in case I ever needed a new space and just felt like filming from a different location there will be something behind me so you kind of may have seen a video where i stood right there in the middle between those items yes so that is why that is on the door so that i can use it as a background area when i am filming okay guys so this vanity table is from ikea and it is a dressing table the top came with it it's like a glass top and that comes with it and there is a drawer and even though this is not a makeup collection video because I have a relatively small collection compared to others um, I'll just show you guys what it looks like on the inside so that you can see what it will hold I have several inserts that I purchased from Target as well as Bed Bath & Beyond I can't remember all the places I've gotten these inserts from but I have like my NARS blush. Here are some mascaras and liner pens. Um, that's my little Sephora color switch that I like. Um, I've talked to you guys about it. My palettes, my sharpeners, my eyelash curler. Um, a lot of my liners because I keep trying different ones. I'm trying to see which ones are the best. My eyeshadow primers, lip liners, eyeliners, makeup remover wipes. 
and it doesn't come out any further so that you guys can see but um my glow kit as well as some other palettes are back there they're like my palettes of individual shadows my ba banana powders this was my birthday present from Sephora my bronzers over here my um what is it my Sasha buttercup powder another bronzer just okay so it holds quite a bit of um makeup so that's one of the reasons I didn't get an Alex drawer set because I don't I'm not a person who has a ton of makeup yet I think I have a good little amount but not as much as some people and so these two items were enough between between this item the drawers as well as the drawer set that I showed you guys from Michaels that was enough oh I forgot to tell you this little jar this is I think this is a toothbrush holder that I purchased from home goods there you go toothbrush holder that I purchased from home goods all right everyone so this concludes my video and I thank you all for watching as always please like comment and subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys very soon so until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.